Today, the trial for the man accused of killing an 11 year old while he was walking home from school back in 2016 gets underway. Police say Andre Jackson stabbed Josue Flores more than 20 times. Marcelino Benito has a preview ahead of next week's jury selection. Well, Mia, a lot has changed here on the north side since Josue was killed nearly six years ago. But one thing has remained constant, and that is this community's commitment and push to get Josue's family justice. And Monday, they'll be one step closer. This community has been waiting a long time. It's been a long six years on the north side. The corner of Fulton and James still linked to the vicious crime that claimed the life of Josue Flores in May of 2016. Stella Morales found its safe walk home after Josue was killed. She says the case is still fresh in the community's heart. I always see his face. We cannot forget. His name and photos still line the place where he died. Houston police say moments after these cameras captured him walking home from school, Andre Jackson repeatedly stabbed the innocent boy. Monday, a jury will hear opening arguments as prosecutors now try to prove their case. We have to go through this in order to you know, to get the suspect convicted. But a conviction won't be easy. It's unusual to spend six years before you get to trial. But keep in mind, in this case, they had an alternate suspect that they released who had an alibi. They charged Jackson in this case, released him because they didn't have sufficient evidence and then recharged him. And so we're going to trial on a case that has a long and troubled history. KHOU legal analyst Carmen Rose says seasoned attorneys on both sides will have plenty to go back and forth on, but the case may hinge on DNA evidence. Police say links Jackson to the murder. This is going to be a real time forensic files case right here in the trial court in Houston. So whether or not that DNA evidence is going to be enough for a jury to find him guilty beyond a reasonable doubt is a question and a fight that's going to go on for the next couple of weeks. The community hopeful it will be enough to lock up Josue's accused killer for good. There's going to be closure. That's what I hope for the family. In North Houston, Marcelino Benito, KHOU 11 News.